Hello everyone, in today's video I show you how to make fingerless gloves with thumbs. They are easy to make and suitable for beginners. They are an ideal and useful gift for this season and for every person in your life. The material I used and the average sizes can be found in the description box below. So let's get started. We start with the ribbing. We are going to chain 10 plus 1 to make the rest of our gloves. I'm going to make my 10 chain and I'll meet you there. I have my 10 plus 1 11 chain. Now we are going to make a single crochet. We start from the second chain from the hook and we are going to make a single crochet all this row. Single crochet in each chain. I'll finish my single crochet and I'll meet you there. I'm almost at the end. I need just one more single crochet. We turn our work. We do not need to chain because we are going to work in the back loop only. And we are going to make a single crochet in the back loop it's mean here, 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 here. So we we start from the very first stitch that we have, which is here in the back loop. We are going to make a single crochet. Single crochet in the next. Single crochet until the end of the row. We're going to do this for 24 rows. In my case, I have circumference of my wrist 6 inches, 15 centimeter. So I'm going to do 24. But you can continue until you achieve the size that you need. I'm here at the end. We turn our work. We do not need to chain and we start again in the back loop with a single crochet. I'm going to finish my 24 rows and I will meet you there. I finish my 24 rows. And it fits perfectly my wrist. Remember when you take your measurement to consider a little bit of stretch of the yarn. So you can size a little bit less that the average sizes. Now we are going to join the two sides together with the slip stitch. Like so. I'm going to finish my row and I'll meet you there. I'm almost at the end. I need one more stitch to join. I 
Now at this point we can turn our work this way and that's what we should have. Now we are going to work a single crochet. We are going to put one single crochet for each row. In my case I have a 24 rows, I'm going to put 24 stitches. Depending on the amount of rows that you have, you're going to have the equal amount of stitches. So here I'm going to do my first single crochet. Here, the second, third, and you continue with the one single crochet for each row you have all the way around. I'm here at the end, I need just one more slip stitch and I completed my first row. Now we are going to work with the double crochet. We are going to distribute three increases around. So depending of the amount of stitches that you have, you have to try to distribute the three increases as evenly as possible. In this case, I show you how with my 24 stitches. Now, usually we start with the chain three, but I don't like it very much because it's too skinny, leaves the gaps between the stitches. So I show you how I do my first double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook in the same stitch where I slip stitched before. Here, I pull up a loop like so, and I'm going to make a single crochet. Then I'm going to chain one. In this case, as you can see, is more similar to a double crochet than not the chain three. Now we are going to put five stitches, one in each stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. That with the first one that we made is a six. So in the next stitch we are going to make an increase. So two double crochet together. One and two. Now we're going to work six double crochet, one in each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. In the next stitch, we're going to make an increase, two double crochet together. Again, we are going to work six double crochet, one in each stitch. Three, four, five and six. In the next stitch we are going to work our increase to double crochet together. And then we finish the rest of the row, the stitches that we have, just 
making double crochet. At this point, you should have, if you have my same amount of stitches, you should have 27 stitches. We are going to slip stitch in the chain that we made before, the one that is on top of the single crochet. And we finish our second row. For the third row, we're not going to make an increase. We just make a single crochet all around. We're going to start, usually we start with the chain one, but I like to make already my single crochet in the first stitch where I slip stitched before and that's how we proceed we're going to make a single crochet all the way around with no increases I'm going to finish my single crochet round and I will meet you there I'm here at the end of the third row I'm going to slip stitch and we finish now in the next row the fourth row we are going to make it two increases one in the first stitch and one in the last one in this way so I'm going to start with my single crochet plus one chain which is my fake double crochet in the same stitch I'm going to make an increase so I'm going to add one more double crochet from now on I'm going to make one double crochet in each stitch all the way around except the last one where we're going to make another increase so I'm going to make my double crochet and I will meet you for the next increase. I'm almost at the end. We have one more stitch. In this stitch we're going to make our last increase. So we're going to put two double crochet. One and two. We're going to slip stitch in the chain on top of our single crochet that we made before. And we should have 29 stitches. That's what we have so far. For the next row, the fifth row, we're going to make a single crochet without any increases all the way around. So we start from the very first stitch where we slip stitch, we make a single crochet, that's one, single crochet in the next, and the next. So I will make my entire row of a single crochet and I will meet you there. I'm at the end of my single crochet row I just need to slip stitch and we finished our fifth row. Now we're going to start our sixth and we're going to work on the double crochet again and we're going to make two increases one in the first stitch and one in the last stitch like we did before 
So, I'm going to make my fake double crochet. I'm going to make a single crochet in the same stitch where I slip stitched before and then one chain. That's my fake double crochet. In the same stitch we make the increase. So we're going to add one double crochet and double crochet all the way around until the one before the last. In the last one we're going to make one increase. You continue in this fashion and I'll meet you for the last increase. I'm almost at the end. I have only the last one stitch where we're going to do the increases. So one double crochet and the second in the same stitch. We are going to slip stitch on the chain here on top of our single crochet that we made before. And we finished our sixth row and we should have 31 stitches. For the seventh row we are going to do single crochet all the way around without any increases. So as usual we're going to start from the very first where we slip stitch before and we make our single crochet like so and then a single crochet all the way around. I'm going to finish my row single crochet and I will meet you there. I'm almost at the end. I'm going to slip stitch and we finish our seventh row. For row eight we are going to work double crochet again and we are going to make two increases one in the first stitch and one in the last like we did before so i'm going to start again with my fake double crochet here where i slip stitched before i'm going to make a single crochet and chain one. In the same stitch we make the increase. So we add one double crochet and we are going to double crochet all the way around until one before the last where we're going to put our second increase and I will meet you there. I'm almost at the end. I need to slip stitch. I made my last increase in the last stitch and we're going to slip stitch on in the chain that we made on top of the single crochet before. And we finish row number eight. We should have a total 33 stitches. So at this point now you have to measure the glove on your hand. When the measure reaches the height of the knuckles, we put a marker in the hollow between thumb and forefinger. I'm going to show you. I'm going to measure my glove here is the same height of my knuckles so here it closed perfectly so I'm going to put 
a stitch marker here in this way for me this measure fits perfectly so now we're going to cut the yarn and we proceed to work around our hand now that we have our measurement we can cut the yarn we can make a knot if you want and we separate the thumb here for the thumb I have 11 stitches but we take care of this later so now we start working the body here of our hand so we grab our yarn and from this stitch where you put your stitch marker we are going to join we are going to make one chain and in the same place we make a single crochet like so I'm going to hide my tail as well uh, while I'm working we make a single crochet all around like so you finish your single crochet and I will meet you before the end I'm almost at the end, I need two more stitches, one, and our last one, it will be what is our stitch marker, just right here. At this point, we can slip stitch in our first single crochet. like so now we can take off our stitch marker that's how it looks like now for the second row of the body of our glove we are going to make a double crochet all around so what I'm going to do the same like we did before um, pick up a loop inside the same stitch where I slip stitch and I make a single crochet then I chain one and then double crochet all the way around you will continue in this fashion and I will meet you before the end I'm here almost at the end I need one more double crochet and we're going to slip stitch in that chain like we did before on top of our single crochet that's how it looks like now for the third row we are going to single crochet all the way around so here in the very first stitch where we slip stitch we're going to make a single crochet like so and then we continue with our single crochet 
all the way around. I'm going to finish my round and I will meet you there. I'm here at the end. I need just one more single crochet and we're going to slip stitch like so. Now for the fourth row we are going to make double crochet all the way around. So we're going to start from the very first stitch. We make a single crochet and then one chain. This is our first double crochet. And then we continue all the way around with our double crochet. I will finish my double crochet row and I will meet you there. I'm here at the end. I need just two more double crochet. And then we can slip stitch in the chain on top of our single crochet that we did before and that's what we have so far now at this point i'm going to try it on and see the size if it's right for my hand i think it fits perfectly but if you desire you can continue with the same pattern alternating double crochet row with the single crochet row until you reach the height that you like so at this point because for me is enough I will make a row of slip stitch like so from from here we don't need to chain, we just slip stitch all around, like so. I will make my row of slip stitch and I will meet you there. I'm almost at the end of my slip stitch row and I need one more. I'm going to cut the yarn and you can hide your tail with the yarn needle or with a smaller crochet hook inside So then we go inside and we're going to hide our tail. I'm going to finish to hide this and I will meet you there. I finished to weave the end and that's what we have so far. Now we are going to make the thumb. I'm going to Put this yarn inside we're gonna hide it later now we can start you grab your yarn <coughs> We start from here, from this stitch here, the first one. Wrap your yarn and pass through. We're going to make a chain, like so. And then we're going to make it in the same stitch a single crochet and we're going to make a single crochet 
all around. I'm hiding the tail while I'm working. Each stitch a single crochet. So here we have two more stitches here and here. We're going to work one single crochet here and one in the other side. A single crochet here now the other side one single crochet and we slip stitch in the first single crochet we made that's what we have now for the second row we are going to do a row of double crochet so we're going to make our fake double crochet so we make a single crochet in the same stitch where we slip stitch and one chain double crochet and double crochet all the way around like so I'm going to make this row of double crochet and then I'm going to make a row of slip stitch because for me this size is enough but of course if you need more you can continue with the same pattern alternating double crochet and single crochet until you reach the height that you need and we slip stitch in the chain Now we're going to make a slip stitch around. I'm going to finish my slip stitch around and I will meet you there. I finished my slip stitch round around the thumb and I weaved the end. Now our glove is ready. I'm gonna try it on. And it fits perfectly and there we have it of course it goes without saying that you're gonna do the same for the other hand if you like this video give me a thumbs up it will make a huge difference see you next time bye